Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So in the last tutorial we have drawn a raft foundation. You've had a displacement of 10 centimeters. So we're gonna make a pile under the column and the embedded beams. The beams. So if you're into civil engineering and you this page, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. So first of all, this is the case C, spire raft foundation. We're gonna draw an embedded beam and assign it as a pile. So first of all, I'm gonna save as this project and call it case C. We can draw two points. It's six six minus two. Six six minus twenty two. So we'll have four piles. Each one will be ten meters deep. It's eighteen. Six minus two. 18 6 minus 22 so it's under the beam it's 6 18 minus 2 6 18 minus 2 minus 22 And the third beam, it's 18, 18 minus 2, 18, 18 minus 22. So now we're gonna create the pile. We're gonna go to embedded beam, new, name it pile. Use modulus. We're gonna choose it from the table here. So it's three and seven zeros. Here it's six. We're taking consideration the soil and the pile. It's predefined massive circular beam. We can choose any one from here. Diameter is 1.5 meter. Uh, linear. 200 500 and 10,000 this is it we're going to assign it to the pile embedded beam set material pile so we've created our piles now we're going to create the mesh as well is when you change anything in the structure, you should create the mesh. We are generating our mesh. <coughs> we can see the mesh right over here and the structures and the pile. So now we're gonna go to stage construction. Is there anything here we should do? Oh, this is it. We're gonna Turn on the pile here in phase two. So here they have turned it on. Okay, so this is it. We're gonna launch the calculation. So, as always, it depends on your PC how much it will take time. So, uh, if you want to learn Plexus 2D also, there's a lot of tutorials about Plexus 2D. Uh, I'll add the link in the description box if you want to start from my channel. Uh, it's the same as Plexus 3D, it's uh, easier. So now we're going to go to the output. So, I'm gonna turn off the loads.
Okay. Okay, we're gonna see the bending moment again. So as you can see, it's much less than the bending moment we obtained. We obtained it in the last calculation. So we're gonna also see the load on the pile. So we can select Control Shift and press on the pile on one pile. It will select all the piles, and we can see the forces that are taken here by the pile. So this is it for this tutorial. If you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comment, leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.